All right, guys, here's an experiment. I'm going to try two, two pieces of quarter-inch poplar held together with uh, the nails that hold electric wire into your studs in the wall in a house. Boards are offset just enough to get the clips, and the only places I've wet are between the two boards where they touch. Uh, what I use is a one cup water to one and a half tablespoons of baking soda. Brush it on, let it soak in, make it wet, and then put the pieces together. Let's see what happens. Anything back here? No. Just on this guy. Alright, so you notice it's more or less stopped out here. It's now going between the boards. Eh, I got a little on top, but that's alright. So, have the timer set for five minutes. A little bit of fire over there on the left side isn't going to hurt anything. It's all going to get cut off on that end anyway. And when a lot of smoke starts pouring out, that's when it's time to stop because it's actually made contact inside. So, like, now. <coughs> um. Alright. I'll let that sit for a second. I'll try one more time. If that much smoke comes out, then this piece is done. Oh, it's still going. Okay. Looks like we'll get just a little more detail out of this guy. lot more detail out of this one. Wow. That's awesome. Alright. Starting to burn pretty far through the poplar on the left side here, so let's call it at that. I'm going to let this cool off for just a second here. I guarantee I can't get that with my bare hands. Let's actually take this whole set over here. Okay. Yes, I'm using a microwave transformer. <laughs> Just happens to have a handy dandy timer, imagine that. All right. So that's, that's pretty hot. Uh, is there any place I can do this? It's okay in the middle, but... Uh... Yeah, I'll use my sweatshirt. <laughs> Whatever. So... Let's grab this. He's going to be an absolute pain. Take this over here real quick. I just kind of... There we go. Okay. So, let's see uh, what our end result was. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that is awesome. Wow. I'm sorry, that came out ten times better than I could have ever imagined. Wow. That is awesome. Now, you notice it's a mirror image, okay? If you, you know, obviously subtract the, the offset here. I could have, if this piece hadn't been, you know, had been farther up than the top of this guy, I could have actually made two complete sets out of this. And they would be awesome. But, I think I may have some ideas for this. Uh, and this will, I have yet to clean this up, so this will have a lot more detail 
uh, when it comes time for that. But uh, you'll notice that the parts that were exposed that weren't sandwiched between got much darker, almost stained, kind of. What did touch uh, stayed much brighter, and this will dry out eventually. Um, I'll still have to put it in the sink, which means I'll have to uh, compress it flat so that when it dries it stays flat rather than warping. <laughs> but I'll tell you, this piece came out amazing. My other attempt, sorry for the bad light, was this guy, and he has yet to be cleaned up also. Same, same procedure. This was done in an offset here like this. You can almost see it down there in the bottom. But that's how it was made. So I'll trim off the top and bottom of each piece respectively. And uh, I will make one complete piece out of this. So I have that. I have my other mirror image. And of course I have my, minus these stupid attempts here, um, my stack of different parts here. I've got some project board, poplar, uh, quarter inch uh, MDF. So uh, each one behaves a little differently, different grain style. Uh, both of these have directional grain, as you can tell. Uh, MDF does not have a directional grain at all. Uh, so it actually comes out looking much different. Uh, it's kind of hard to try. I don't have a piece right here with me to show you. But uh, I will do a couple more videos of my mirror image sets here. And... Uh, Give you guys a little more instruction.